Okay, I want to show you the Stream Deck feature that I added to Relearn. Let's go at an instance uh, to the monitoring of XChain. An instance of Relearn. Putting it on the monitoring of XChain makes it available anywhere in every project. Um, at first, we need to choose the input. And uh, here we can see that I have a Stream Deck MK2 connected. Um, if you have other Stream Decks, here are the other supported ones, but they are not connected. So as always, I add a mapping and learn source and press a button. Now I can map that button to basically anything. For example, the play button. Whenever I press this button and hold it, Reaper plays. Let's make this a toggle button by going into the mapping panel and changing the mode to toggle button. Now I don't have to hold it. As you can see, the button is uh, still empty, nothing is displayed, but we can change that. For example, I can enter a text here, play. That's an easy way to show something useful, but I can also, uh, yeah, I can set the background, I can set it to a solid color. Um, let's say, Gray. Now it's gray, it's always gray. And I can make a change into green, for example, when Reaper is playing. Now it's green, now it's gray. Green, gray. I could also pick uh, an image that it displays when it's playing or even when it's not playing. Um, what else? I can, for example, show a knob that indicates the current value, value of the target. Um, for this, I'm going to learn another target. Let's say the master volume. And now you can see that, that knob. Well, let's make it a bar. Uh, that's not so well visible because it's painted transparently. But I can change the background color to the default, which is black. And now it's uh, visible very nicely. Um, I'm going to change the target to, to peak. So right now it should um, reflect voice. Uh, again, I can choose anything to uh, visualize that. I can also make the knob. I can make it... Um, I can change the range. I can change the color of the bar. Uh, let's make it red. And I can also put an image um, as a background. Maybe a track icon. Guitar, maybe. The text will always be painted on top. And I can make it also display whatever the target currently displays. And now I see always the current incoming decibels. But it can really be anything. What else do we have? Browse tracks shows which track is currently selected.
and now I'm going to show you another convenience feature. Um, go to menu, compartment tools, convert toolbar to stream deck mappings and it, it does what it says. It just takes a toolbar of your choice, maybe the main toolbar, and projects it on the stream deck just by creating the necessary mappings. Here again we can see the state. The reason why it doesn't use these icons is that those are built-in icons and um, we learn cannot access them yet, but uh, hopefully it will do so in the future. If, you, if there's a toolbar which doesn't use uh, built-in icons, you will see that it will project the pictures onto the Stream Deck. So I'm going to take this floating toolbar, the one here, and now you can see it will reflect exactly the images, even the on-off state. So let's take this one or, or maybe that one and see how it looks, that mapping. That is a, an image, image slide. Image slide means I can change what portion of the image is shown. Um, this is best visible if I map this to some continuous target like a volume. So it slides between the different states of these toolbar images. Another possibility would be to use a fade. Um, I already picked an image, don't need to pick it again. Yeah. Okay, I guess that's it. Hope you liked that. And let me know how it works for you.